although this is not my favourite, this is how the front looks. Hi guys, it's Jamie here, and I thought before we started with today's journal card, it would be good for you to be reminded or see the seven tier pocket that these are going into. For the background for today's journal card, I'm going to be looking through the magazines for one colourway. It's quite a nice dress. Try that. I was going to go with one colourway, but I might have a go with that. We'll go with some greens. There's a bright green. Let's grab that as well. Take some strips of the pattern. I'm not worried about that bit. That's quite nice though. Might save that. With the pages that you've selected, I'm going to tear some strips. We have all our strips of paper here. Blue stick. What we're going to do is add strips of paper over the journaling card. Very roughly trim up the back. We're going to put another layer down. Basically, I'm going to keep adding layers until all of these bits and pieces are on this card. Next stage to making this a background is to file it back. Grab some tweezers, grab some bits of paper and pull. Nearly there with this, and this is where I'm up to. And I've got some clear gesso, and I'm going to go over this. And the reason for using this is it will help take some of the shininess off the background, as well as protect that surface against any art treatments. What I have here is black gesso. I might need to rub a bit off because what I would like is for the colours underneath to vaguely show through. Try with a cloth that's got a bit of water on first. The other nice thing about black gesso is it dries very, very matte. I'm wondering if I'm getting through to as much colour as I would like. Possibly not. I might just damp the whole thing down. This could be a disaster. We shall see. As long as I've got the white covered up, I'm okay with that. What I've got here from the Poppy Fussy Cuts is one of the pictures that's provided. And I think what I will do is I'm keeping it fairly simple today. I'm going to add this to that base. Starting with the poppies, I'm going to put some of the matte medium over the card. Attack it with a finger, see if I can knock some lines out that way. It's better. Now everything's protected and dry, I'm going to use the Stabilo to link these two together by creating a smudgy border. I might have overdone the black fading there. It's okay, we can just dribble it down. Quite like that though. I've already backed this card with some of that paper that we've been using. I've cut three things from the Gratitudes, a couple of boxes and the prompt. I will be edging things in the memento. I'm probably going to use a bit of this autumn napkin, even though we've been doing a poppy theme. I've got some Mod Podge. Debating whether I'm putting this one on or not. Probably will. The question is my favourite time of the year. Some of this isn't very straight. I don't think it matters though. Spray and shine. I don't use it on everything. Just for these I am. 
Here's the back completed. Although this is not my favourite, this is how the front looks. Goes with the theme. Next time we'll try the same method but with white and see how that goes.